but our local elections really, really matter too. Um, and our city council needs to go in a more progressive direction. Um, and, and, and with that, we have some of those progressive city councilors here today, and we want to give them more support by electing my fellow progressive mom, Jody Newell, to the Keene City Council. Let's introduce her. Hello, all. Wow, it's actually at my height. That's amazing. <laughs> my name is Jody Newell, and if you talk to me for basically any amount of time, you'll know that I'm a mom. I harp on my kids. Um, it's understandable, right? It is what it is, because my life is basically revolves around my children for the last 13 years. That's what being a mom is, right? Interesting to note, though, what I didn't realize was that being a mom opens you up to a level of scrutiny and judgment that I was not aware of before that. I often tell the story of how I moved to Keene, and essential to that story is the lack of side eye that I got from other people around me, from, from my kids and I. Because I'm walking around with two really rambunctious little boys, um, doing what rambunctious little boys do, and, uh, but for some reason everybody wanted to um, make up their mind about what I should do, right? Over the years, even well-intentioned individuals sometimes couldn't understand why I made the choices I did, and that's understandable because they're not me, and they're not in my situation. Yet, here we are seeing what I would argue is the single most life-altering decision being taken away from us, our own judgment being overridden and undermined by people who intentionally distance themselves from the problem, imposing understandably inappropriate and downright rec reckless attempt at solutions. Last week, we saw one of the last European states remove their ban on abortion. 77% of the voting public came out to support a woman's re reproductive right to choose. If we were to do the same thing here, the numbers would be fairly similar because across the nation, the vast majority of people support a woman's right to choose. Yet somehow, a handful of uh, powerful characters can upend decades of progress to make judgments about and decisions for the rest of us. We know, though, that all too often, even staunch anti-choice uh, anti advocates don't believe in this policy for themselves, right? They don't believe in this policy for themselves because, after all, if you're in that situation, it's a lot easier for you to understand that the circumstances of your situation merit an exception to this rule. And at the end of the day, what it seems to me is that it's pretty simple. Are we going to support women? Are we going to trust women to make their own decisions? Are we going to believe women? Or are we going to judge, restrict, and condemn them? I think you know where I stand, and I appreciate all y'all for being here.